Um, the character I play in this film is named Isa, and she's got two sides to her. Um, she she has a, a side where she's very mature, she's pensive, she's always surrounded by people who are older than her, um, always concerned with um, less than trivial matters, and she she's always picking up the slack at school. She's always doing everybody's work. Um, but at the same time, she's also very fun to be around. Uh, she's witty. She lets that work for her. Playful, and um, she's good company. So, so that's Isa. Hello, I play Sam. Uh, Sam is a filmmaker. Um, he's he's very serious. He's a quiet person. Um, he's very ambitious. I would say um, he has big dreams and. He's very much in love with his girlfriend, and at the end of the day, he just wants to make things work. Um, so Issa's relationship with the other characters is a, quite a complex one, especially with Sam, because there's um, an element of, of forbidden love that's involved. But I suppose the, the relief is in her relationship with Luke and Karen, who are the other friends, where it's a very pretty simple relationship. It's a um, basic friendship, which involves uh, just having a good time, wanting to protect your friends, being able to confide in your friends. With Isa, um, Isa is... Uh, he's in love with Isa. She's dear to him because they sila sa trains every morning. With Luke, Si Luke naman yung best friend niya. Um, medyo iba sila ng personality. Si Luke yung mas makulit, mas... Uh, mas... mas parating nagpapatawa. Pero pag nagkasalita si Luke, nakikinig siya. With Karen, si Karen naman yung best friend ni Isa. Um, ingat naman si Sam kay Karen. It actually wasn't too hard to portray Isa because I can relate to the character in many different ways. Um, I guess she's just a she's um, a heightened version of myself where where she takes different details of my life and magnifies it. How can I relate to my character? Um, I think a lot. Pareho kami siguro mahilig magway ng mga bagay-bagay. That's one. And Pareho kaming naka-earphones pag nasa <laughs> MRT or LRT. One of the main challenges I encountered in this in shooting this film was how to characterize Isa to the best of my ability. Because although she's very relatable, there are some parts of her that you would want to highlight and to, to really display in the film. So that's what I, I, I wanted to give her justice. So we really, um, Nico, my co-actor, and I, we really studied the script tediously. We, um, we fleshed out all the details. And when we got there, we would have to keep reassessing, like, how, is, how, does the, how would the character react in this situation, not just how would I act this. So it was making it as realistic as possible and maintaining the authenticity. Mm, challenges. Challenges that I encountered. Okay, with, with act. Thing, siguro ang pinakamahirap was creating, um, imagining that history na meron ako with uh, Iman's character, Isa. Kasi <clears throat> yung, yung movie, hindi siya nagsistart sa zero. Nagsistart siya sa, sa very crucial na part ng relationship namin. Siguro mahirap, mahirap yun, mahirap yun i-create. Ang favorite part ko sa film ay yung fact na romantic lead ako. Hindi <laughs> ko kailangan bibigyan ako ng ganitong role. Uh, although matagal ko na maging, matagal ko na gusto maging part ng film na hindi ako sisigaw at uh, tungkol lang siya sa story. I'd like to invite everyone to come and watch Ang Kwenta Nating Dalawa, which is sort of a forlorn and forbidden love story. And I'm sure everyone will be able to relate. It's got great fun scenes as well as lots of hugot if you're into that stuff. So please do come check out the movie. Last words. Sumoy kayo ng trains. Yes, itry nyo. Um, and watch the film kasi... Um, Sa nag-grow na film industry sa Philippines, I think isa to sa mga malinaw na proof na na ang dami pang pwedeng puntahan ng 
mga kinikreate ng pelikula ng mga Pilipino.